it's just me and you, is you gon' ride to the end? It's just me and you, and I ain't worried about your friends. It's just me and you, don't be messing with my head. It's just me and you, and I ain't tryna be your friend. Shorty so bad, shorty so nice. I really like your smile, I can fuck you all night. Shorty so bad, shorty so nice. I really like your smile, I can fuck you all night. We put it in the past You wasn't right either We was moving too fast When we ain't talking Yeah, you put me in my bag I'm just trying to get it I'm just trying to chase a bag But when we start talking Yeah, we always getting mad You was independent You was getting to your cash Gave you all I had But it really didn't last Do you even love me? I shouldn't even yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuned into me, 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 I'm Gilly the King. <laughs> Gilly the King, man. Listen, you just listen to me and you, man. Song of the week, man. Prophet Rolex, man. Check that out, man. Rolex, not Lex. Rolex. Rolex. You know, because people say, oh, damn, it's a Rolex. No, no it's Rolex. <laughs> and this million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Springfield Hyundai. <sighs> now, listen, man. The thing about Springfield Hyundai is this. They're always trying to help people in any type of way. If you go to Springfield Hyundai and you give my man back door, Bobby, you're going to go through the front door. He's going to take you out the back door and you're going to be driving and you came walking. You came, you probably got in public transportation. You probably mm-hmm. got off a bus. You might have been walking with your sneakers. Or that maybe Uber. You. Or maybe an Uber, maybe a Lyft. That's the mm-hmm. same companies, though. It really don't matter. Mm-hmm. Even one of them, I didn't mean to give them a plug, but we gave them a plug, so we can't take back that we gave them a plug. Right. But Springfield Hyundai is the real plug. Because when you walk in there, you're saying to yourself, oh, I don't have any credit. Listen, they don't approve credit. They approve people. Mm. They always were giving people a chance, rebuilding their credit, going in there. Listen, you go in there, and they're going to hook you up in different for, different type of ways. And it, the way you get hooked up and the way you start it, because it's in Springfield, Pennsylvania, is 844-9-DRIVE-NOW. That's where you go, 844-9-DRIVE-NOW. Bad things happen to good people. So your credit might be messed up. You probably got the credit, and thought, oh, free money, huh? And mess your credit up, and now you hit. But if you got a job, they're going to help you. They're going to help you rebuild. And they got different programs mm-hmm. over there that's going to take you, get you in that car, number one, and also help build your credit up. You go there, you mention them, mention Backdoor Bobby, and you get a car, they're going to give you some free iPod. Ear pods, whatever that is, I don't, I don't wear them. I like the ones with the cord because they don't fall on me. Mm-hmm. People always say, damn, Wallow, why you don't wear the ear pods? Because when I'm jumping up and down, they fall in zooey holes and stuff when I'm doing my videos. Mm-hmm. It's not that I, I just don't got time for them, but they're going to give you some over there. They ask me, damn, Wallow, you want something? Because you No, I don't want nothing. <laughs> Get them to the people that come there. When you go there and you ask for backdoor, backdoor Bobby, they're going to hook you up when you purchase a car so or whatever. Basically, you're saying there's a lot of people right now that sit home on their couch. They don't have a car. No, they're they on their way to they're, work. They're at work, yeah. They don't have a car, but mm-hmm. they make money. Make a lot but of money. But their credit is a 400. Mm-hmm. And they think, I can't get a car because my credit is a 400, and I know I'm not going to get approved. So what you saying at Springfield Hyundai, that don't matter? It don't matter at Springfield Hyundai. They're going to bless you. Mm-hmm. I mean, they gonna, you're going to come through there, holler back to Bobby. They're going to bless you. And on your way home, driving in your car, you're going to be listening to your mu- music from your, your whatever phone you got. Do-do-do-do. Apple phone. Do-do. I got a car. You're going to be outside. You're going to call your friends. Hey, I got a car. Okay. You know, I got a car. I was walking. Oh, you got a car now? Where you get a car from? Springfield Hyundai. Who you went to? Backdoor Bobby. And he hooked me up with some AirPods. So I'm happy. Okay. I mean, Springfield Hyundai 8449 drop now. One more time. Springfield Hyundai 8449 drop now. That's my radio voice. You like <laughs> Nine drive now. Nine drop now. <laughs> this is all that type of stuff. <laughs> Let's get into me and I was worth a game. Recently, I seen a little clip. Of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. What happened? And Kanye was telling her kind of, you know, basically, you know, how you dress. You know, he didn't say insecure, but he kind of said insecure. Like, it makes me feel like, you know, and she kind of rebuttal. Well, you know, you built me up. You know, you built me up to to believe in myself and be this person. And now that I, I'm this person, you you kind of have a problem with it now. Is it ever a situation where your woman could be too sexy and make you insecure? insecure? You want a woman that's just like beautiful. Everybody want their woman to be beautiful. They want them to be dressed nice. They want them to be smelling good. You know what I mean? I don't want, listen, I don't want. But she did. But what was the issue? But she did. I guess, I guess how she dressed, the the sexy pics and shit. I'm not for everything, nigga. I'm not for everything. I'm not saying you for everything. So what your woman can do? uh, Um. I know this. I, I might be an old school nigga, mm-hmm. but I don't fuck with the like 
the shirt that's basically a clear shirt and they nipples is just their titties is just straight out. It's basically oh, like well, the, we already know how the, you feel about the listen, you know the screen door? You know how like a, a house got a screen door? You notice them shirts they wear where it's like it's just a clear shirt. But, but you still see the out. nipples poking it. through. I mean, Question that's up. not even that you see. It's literally like a window with just titties there. But they be like, well, there's something in front of it. But it's like, it's j- literally, I see your titty, the areola, the whole thing. I don't even understand how that's like closed. Question. Let me so ask you a question. So if V popped up on you with the window shirt, you're mad. No. But Nigga it's a point question. You're missing the point question. So wait, you not leave. Shut you're out of your... Did you bro, you it? telling me if Tootie walk out... The the, hold up, up. Hold up. You telling me if Tootie walk out the house with her titties out, you cool with it? But this one... Hold on, hold on. I ain't leaving because of the shirt. Yeah, you would. But I'm gonna say like, this though. Yeah, you I'm would. I'm gonna say this. Though. Let me ask you a question. Squirt, not these the shirt. titties. <laughs> these titties, right? Is they uh, is they owned by? Hey, don't, her? No, 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 listen. Did no. you purchase these titties? First off, it's my girl, so I own it. So what oh, I'm telling, my. so 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 what I'm telling you is, you telling me you let April so walk. Hold on. Around, hold on, wait, wait. You let April walk get on the, on the gram with her nipples just out. No, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so what I'm saying is, you own the. Yeah. Oh, he friend. <laughs> oh, that's the <laughs> friend. But listen, yeah, this is that's mine. Let, let, let's because have, that's let's mine. Have, okay. We not well, let, no, let's. This is crazy. See what a moment sounds. Owner. He said, I own that's, it. That's, hey, that's, hey, that's hey, my, hey. Wait. A nigga's about to die. Yeah. Let's get a moment of silence yeah. for Devin Wake. Yeah. The owner. How do, do I, I say s- goodbye ooh, to what we had? Hold on, let me remix it. Uh. Dev is dead. Ooh. V killed him. Ooh. He thinks he's a slave master. <laughs> no, 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 I own no. her. Ooh. I bought her to my titties. It's my body. She can't do nothing. If she wears a shirt, this breast. And if titties show, and I'm a killer, I'm going to tell you, I'm everybody going to get killed. The person that sold his shirt, I'm going to kill him too. All that type of shit. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey. He just flipped out. He flipped out. <laughs> Didn't he? But no, the whole thing is, I want a woman, I want my woman to dress sexy. I I, I love that. That's Absolutely. I don't I don't think you should be like, if you got beauty, I, like, I want you to smell good, I want you to look good. Absolutely. I, but listen, I, 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 people's going to look at your woman. They're yeah. going to lust now off that's, your woman. That part's That's cool. reality. That, so what? That's what that's you want. That's mine. I'm, I'm, you know, she's getting blazed and glazed every night by me. I don't I don't. He care. might just not want her to be like but Amber Rose Coochie out on, but, on, on Instagram. But that's what me. I'm saying is, Kim, I think she done had some, some like, some sh- picks out where she was kind of naked, like, right? A book or something. I, I'm not sure. Right? I don't know. I, I mean, mean, okay, I mean okay, it kind of okay, started okay, off with her. Okay, so, she's been like so, that. So, so since you own V, what is V allowed to post on Instagram and what is she not allowed to post? I mean, she could post whatever she want, but she's not going to be naked on, like, literally her titties, Okay, nipples, so let me out. ask you a question. So if V, so if she was chilling somewhere and her girlfriend... Put the phone on it. Okay, I'm with my bitch. Mm-hmm. And V threw her hands on her knees. She started twerking. Ah. I don't even give a fuck about uh, that okay, shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, you don't, you, okay cool. No. All right. So if she um, if she take a picture with she on the bed and she on her knees mm-hmm. and she looking in the back. buck, she in the buck and naked. No, in the buck, like like it, like like on fours. Yeah, she on fours and she took a picture. Listen, I don't care about that type shit, right, man. Okay. See, me and you totally different. No, nah, I don't care about that. Me and you totally different. Like, always, I'm a photographer. I'll take the, the, I'll take no, the no. picture. Like, I'm a photographer. I understand That's that. art. Is okay. that art to you? Okay, let me yeah. understand. Let me understand this. So being See, naked is art. No. T- listen, I, everybody got their individual rules. Y'all niggas might be cool with y'all girls' titties. Literal titties, not cleavage. He's a no. vicious titty boy. No, we, we understand. This is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm saying, right? If, if... I'm I'm not all the way cool with certain shit. Like for me, bitch, if you ain't a Victoria's Secret model, or you don't get paid to take pictures in your panties, why the fuck would you be taking pictures in your panties and posting them on Instagram? Trying to, to catch. To me, that's that's a that's thirsty fishing. bitch. That's a bitch that needs to obey a thirst. She needs a sprite. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So for me. It's like, okay, I'm scrolling down two on all fours looking back at the camera and taking a picture. Uh, bitch, the fuck you took that picture for? I'm confused. <laughs> you know what? Stay in that position so when I get home, I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> Let me f- ask you a question. What the fuck? What, like, why would, why would a, a woman that do makeup on Marvel movies and, and all these companies... Just say, I'm going to jump on all fours. A mother. Get in the book. A mother of two kids that's grown in college and high school. 
oh, I'm just going to throw my panties on, get on all fours, turn around, and look at the camera and take some pictures and post on Instagram. It's like, uh, bitch, how's your brain operating out here? So you kicking her. Buck. So you, Let so, me ask so you two kicking questions. A woman. I got an interesting question. Is, uh, is is titty fuck still in the style? Because I see you. I'm not asking you because you always you you. Yeah, I mean, seven. first off, first off, two only got yeah, the eight yeah, cups. And, so yeah, my girl. Is that yeah, still my, in style? I mean, I just rub my dick on a on a what's this called the the Cleveland part? No, is that the Cleveland? Sternum? Was this, did you the say Cleveland? Did you call it Cleveland? <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> the chest this, part. This nigga with his words. Yo, yo, he was like, "Yo, I fucked her right between her Cleveland." What's this called? The sternum. Yeah, the, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I tried to do a titty fuck before. I just was rubbing my dick up I, and down. I the don't chest. think titty fucking was ever really in style. I think that's strictly. That shit. I what think it's strictly. About? I think that's strictly a pornography thing. No, and you no, was really no, in the no, porn. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you no. never, you never got a good titty. fuck? I said it you wasn't in style. You shit, as a young boy, I made mean, love to a bitch's titties. I love it. Nigga, we perverts. What's wrong with you? I, I gave that bitch. <laughs> Come on, we tripping. That we, was that was. He ain't, he ain't never give a bitch a jerk and squirt. Yes, uh, he, ain't, uh, he ain't never give a bitch a jerk and squirt. Hey, first of all, when she pushed them titties together, and she hold the hand right there and trap the dick right in between. The, oh my goodness, I'm about to squirt you down. Oh, it's you about mean, to be all of my lotion time. Squeak, 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 I don't, I don't squeak, think squeak. that was ever uh, I'm about international. To get it. I'm about to I'm about to squirt, squirt. I'm about to lube your neck down squirt, with some jerkins. He says squirt squirt. This is like a, this is like a, a, a ride of great adventures, a wild one. It's wet and wild, a wet and wild titty ride. Come to great adventures and, and, and do the new wet and wild titty ride. That's crazy, man. You know, it's just like that's just crazy, man. A lot of a lot of things is playing all out. Te, uh, Dev had all flat chest bitches. No, Dev don't play that. He bottom Jones. He a bomb. Yeah, but he, he bomb in the okay, middle. How you buy some titties? You ain't never even had a proper titty fuck. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, how you buying, Joe? Yo, how, yeah, how y'all remixing? What stories? you purchase titties? How y'all remixing? Or right, what if you ever bought some? What if you bought a chick some titties? She came back with her nipples crooked. What do you That's do? Cra <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bitch, come back her nipples pointing out this. <laughs> That's crazy. I have seen some bad titty jobs before, dog. Some yeah, real bad ones. Because these bitches be going. Flying to the Dominican Republic, getting their titties done in a motherfucking Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> and I think it's because I think it's because no. the chicken farm by it, Roberto by they be, going to get their by, they be going to get their joints done at the chicken farm. The I dog. think it's because they trying to go from straight flat chested to like two big titties, and they no. Jones be like sitting where their shoulders be at, like no, they, they be, be all no, apart. No, they be no, far apart. No, the problem is they fly to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> they lay up. In, listen, <laughs> they lay up in a, a Holiday Inn Express for two days. Dr. Roberto Rodriguez. <laughs> you got to make sure when you say his shit, you got to make sure Listen, you run giving, the R's. He giving him too much Rodriguez. He giving him too much credit. I know bras that fly to the nearest Latino neighborhood in a city. Walk yeah. to the, and, get, and get it hooked up. Because no, I no, see no, some no, phenomenal no. jobs done from the Dominican all, Republic. Okay, for, first of all, let me just say this. First of all, let me just say this. And get hooked up. Let me just say this. I haven't seen uh, it. Let me just say this. It's a reason why the bitches fly to the Dominican Republic. Why? Because it's fucking cheap. All right? So so if they say, oh, I can drive up here, but it's going to be 6000 7000 or I can get me a $400 flight, go to the Dominican Republic and spend 2000 and come back with some crooked set of titties. No, he's talking about the people that be putting fixer flat in the ass and all types of shit like that in the hood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Them bitches doing that right at like the they, City Line Avenue. Yeah, they be, <laughs> dying, they be dying. They be doing that shit right across the street from Power 99. Shit crazy. Yeah, they yeah. right across the street from Saks. That, uh, that <laughs> hotel right across the street from Saks on City Line <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, them bitches be running think, in there getting that fixed flat in their ass. I think you're telling a little too much information. <laughs> like it might be a bus or rate. Like I don't think you should have said all that. They they don't they don't rate hotels. <laughs> you're a rat. That was a rat movie. <laughs> rat. He's a rat. Billy's a rat. Everybody put it out there. He's a rat. <laughs> Fuck out. He told he's hating because girls getting titties. He told on the titty on the titty <laughs> surgeon. He ratted on the titty surgeon. On the local titty guy. The local titty the guy. Underground titty. titty guy like that rat ass nigga. That nigga's a rat. <laughs> He tell anybody he told on me. Nobody even knows. Yeah, I got titties dog. for the low. <laughs> hey, he just got to change his location. He bad as shit. He, bad as shit. <laughs> that ass, he hating it. Bargain he titties. Hate, it's bargain breast is crazy. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. Who's the top five most influential people in hip hop of all time? And listen, before you, I don't give a fuck who y'all add in. The most That's influential. A deep the most influential single handedly. The number one most influential. Person in hip hop of all time. You niggas can name the other four, but the nigga that's number one, Dr. Dre, by far. What, oh, what the? F Dr. Dre was in a group 
that had some shiny fucking jackets on. What was them niggas called back in the early Before 80s? Before you turn off the okay. lights, I want uh -oh. one thing understood. Wrecking Crew? Wrecking Crew. World, yeah, world, world, okay, world right. Crash Wrecking Crew. Yeah. Right? He left them niggas, went with NWA. Complete switch. Yep. Complete switch. Matter of fact, it was Look, a halfway switch. Hold on. It was a halfway switch because he joined them and he was talking about, I don't smoke weed or sex because it's known to give a brother brain damage and brain damage on the mic don't manage. And then left. his next album was The Chronic, nigga. Okay, but cool. But. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> niggas for life. He, it was straight out of Compton, then niggas for life. Yeah. So he did switch his game about the, I don't smoke weed or sus. Okay. Then he started, my hepatitis, he went over there. Right. Okay. He went over there right. and started going in, so it was different. Right. He got a little hard, and then Easy spanked him. Easy, once again, know your know, industry route, number 4,080, record company, people are shady. Right. So Who said that? Him. So, I don't know, but listen. Q-tip. Q-tip. <laughs> oh, I, I, that's why I don't know. Listen. So using, don't disrespect Tip. I didn't disrespect Tip, but it's I didn't listen to Q-tip. I told you it's niggas that. It's a vibrant thing. You see how y'all just said. Bob, Bob, Who Bob sang that? Thing. I don't know. I never heard that line in my fucking it's life. A okay, it's a classic. Okay, cool. But the nigga Go ahead. helped build up Ice Cube, mm -hmm. Easy E, mm -hmm. producer, Yella, Ran. Ran. Hold on. Then he left. Left them niggas was dead pop, stolen car broke, fucked up, went to death row. Got with Suge. Got with Suge. Build up a billion dollar company. Responsible for Snoop, the Dog Pound, uh, Tupacalus, Tupac, right? The second Coming version, over yeah, second, second version of Tupac, Tupac. absolutely Tupac. reincarnated. That was mm -hmm. reincarnated. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hold on, left them. Dead popped, fucked like up. Y'all keep the money. I don't want to keep the money. I just want my freedom. Went to aftermath. Started aftermath. Mm -hmm. Came Built out with the up. firm. Didn't he do the firm? Yep. Um, he did the firm. He, he did, did, but don't count that one. Just uh, skip over that. Eminem. Damn. Nas was involved. Voxy Brown. I get it. Eminem. Yes. 50 Cent. Oh, yeah. That was game. Crazy. Say no more. The game. Off to the races. Yep. Him uh, and Jimmy Iovine said, Beats by Dre. That was classic. Come you, on. You killed, you killed him. Put the B together. Put a B together. Like, and still around here right now. Get After it. that, he then he come back with Beats by Dre. He getting it. Number one headphones in the world. This right. nigga has been constantly evolving since 1984. So I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna connect with Gil. I understand where you're going. Nobody has came along. Dre is in a whole nother atmosphere. Dre, yes. Ice Cube, Ice T, LL. Where you was in a time that don't exist no more, and you're still relevant today, and you're making money off of moves, off of initial moves that you made in the 80s. Yes. But he's right. making moves. Off, he's making money off of new moves. The fact that he's got new, new moves. moves still, he's always got a new move. So I say Dr. Dre's number one. Who's number two? He is Cube. definitely it number gotta one. It got to be Cube. Friday franchise. Mm. It got to think about it. Friday. Influential. <clears throat> I think we should name some people and then move. Then you'll be able to move the list around because I I think influential. I, even though he might not be the same now. I think now, number Hove. two is Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Oh, Hove. you're talking about on that I can't forget Hove. Hove. I'm seeing because you know why I got stuck in the time. Hove was changing how people was Hove, dressing, yeah. how people was rapping. Hove, yeah, Hove. How niggas was talking before Hove. songs. Niggas. <laughs> and I'm not, when I say influential, I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about as far Everything. as being an influence on somebody else's life, life. as period, well. Period. Yeah, Hove, Hove is major in that. But period. Hove didn't put half the niggas on. No. That Dre did. Dre put the most people on, you saying? Yes. Out of everybody, Dre? Yes. But for Philly, Hove did us wonders. All right, what about Master P? We ain't P? talking about we ain't talking, we talking about the world. What about Master P? Master P is, is I think I think Master His P blueprint is blueprint was I legendary. Think, I think Master P is He got to be on that list. And one of the reasons I say Cube because you got some young person right now watching Friday. The Ice Cube's definitely. He sparked a lot of career. He put a. I'm putting Ice Cube number five. He he started. He sparked. We you jumped numbers, but it's some. Yeah, other I people. see because he's trying to fill. But, but he's he trying to fill it. But Cube, think about this. He had Chris Tucker in the joint before he even blew. Mm -hmm. He put a lot of people in his movies. Michael Blackstone. He put a lot of people in his movies. Gave yeah. a lot of people Day -day. jobs. Day Day. Michael Epps. Mike Epps. Epps. Mike yeah. Epps and, and my man Cat Williams. He he started. He a lot of people was getting money because of the, his initial. Come on. No, nah, that's right. real. Like, and he did all these other movies. Uh-huh. Like, 
had yeah. a, had a, had a great Absolutely. solo career. Yeah, his solo rap career after he left NWA was legendary. Right, he stayed relevant all the way through. All the right. way. And then you got people like Ice ain't probably big as that, but but the fact that Ice and LL they still around. I don't got Ice T in there. No, 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 he ain't got. I'm, I got LL we can in the top ten. He, he mentioned. Yeah, Let's just mention. Mention him. LL. I mean, just that third. Diddy with Diddy. those good mentions. Tupac, man. Diddy gotta be. Diddy did a lot of stuff. Third. Yeah. So is third. is Dre, Hove. Diddy, who fourth? Mm. So you going by mainly big, big power moves that push Master it. P. Where Master P at? He not in that. He ain't number uh, four. Pop really touched the culture on a different level. <sighs> I know, but I'm talking about like still here. Rest in peace, of Pop. Oh, okay, so you're not counting anybody past. Rest in peace, of Pop. Biggie, Big L, Big Pun. Uh, but they uh, didn't uh, really have a chance to grow. Run DMC. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, uh, they wasn't here. No long females enough. on this list. To be DJ. able to, they wasn't here long enough. I ain't mean to say enough. Run DMC like that. I ain't, I ain't mean to say Run DMC. No, no. I was going to say, if you looking at a fashion standpoint, style for hip hop culture is Jam Master J. Because they got that how, how y'all feel about, him. how do y'all feel about Russell Simmons? Oh, Russell. Russell went there. Russell, Russell, listen, Russell was yeah, a full five a, of a lot of things. Shh. Russell way up look, there. Let me tell you something. Okay, let's go top 10. So the, the starting five is Dr. Dre. Jay-Z. Oh, mm -hmm. Diddy. Diddy. Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. Master you said five. P. No, you said five was I, but Master Ice Cube. P. You said Ice Cube was five. I got to put Master P in front of Ice Cube. Word? What? Yeah. Yes, because let me tell you why. Uh, Master let P me put tell a lot you of why. people on. Let me tell you why. Not only did Master a shitload P. shitload of people. Put a lot of people. No, no, it's a tie for five. Master P and, and Cube. Ice Cube. Bang. Right? Because Master P really, he really was. What he did was really more influential than any of them niggas. Because of he just he, he just didn't last as long as a lot of them lasted as far as going on to the movies. and He had, some movie, he had a lot of independent uh, movies. Yeah, but they wasn't as big as Friday yeah, and right. shit like that. Because he was the first motherfucker to say, I'm banking on myself. All the way. Fuck y'all. I just want a 15% distribution deal. Yeah. Just distribute my shit. I'm banking on myself in a time where niggas never banked on themselves. Mm -mm. They always relied in the label. He said, I'm my own label. I just need distribution from you motherfucker. And he... It oh. was 85-15, right? And yeah. he fucked if, the game If we up. making a real list and we still got to separate the two, we can't let them share a slot. Ice Cube. No, you got you to think they about Ice, equal. Ice Cube wrote those songs, too, for NWA. All, most of them bars, yeah. okay. even for them other guys. That's a big push-up. It is. But people. what I'm saying is, the difference That's is, historical shit. the difference is where Master P catches up. They came in the game as artists. I just broke down how Dre went to all them labels. Dre didn't get his own shit until four labels. Master P in. came in independent. Master I just, P I get that. came no, in. My stuff in these stories. Master P came in out the gate, like when a time where the record labels was like, let's just take fifteen. And I'm gonna say something. Absolutely. Can I this say something? nigga's not gonna do can what I, he think he's gonna do. And can I say something? And that nigga was selling millions of records on an independent standpoint before anybody circuit, was doing that shit. Circuit 1995. Me, him, Dice Raw, we're in the studio, 2020, uh, my man's studio in North Philly, Baby Ave. I played Master P. I was all the way up on, up on Master P in 95 because of this. Rap Pages Magazine. I seen an article on him. Back then, uh, raps, uh, 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 one of the rap John, I think it was Joe and T. Raps, whatever, they was playing Master P song, him and King George, TRU, on the videos. I'm like, damn. I, and then I seen it in the magazine. I said, let, let me go get this tape. Went down there, downtown, got this tape. Was banging it. Master P and them, T-R-U, all that stuff. Him, Dice. And if you don't cut that shit off, that shit trash. <laughs> I believe you. Told me it was trash. I believe I you. I was a dude, Gil, to tell you, I was a hip-hop boy that always knew hip-hop. Eat every coast. I listened to E-40, Spice One, Drew Down, Rapping Forte. You name it. I mm -hmm. listened to him. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, I don't care who, Richie Rich, I don't care. I was into the bay. 
and they used to be over there like that in the Bay a little bit, Richmond area, uh, Master P and all them, uh, even though they was from New Orleans. But I listen, I peeped that whole independent movement, Southwest distribution. I knew about murder. It was a lot of stuff that I read that was independent because I was always like, we going to do our thing on a major figure level. Because that was my, my whole thing was me and Gil, me and Gil rap, but Gil didn't really think it was serious. I knew this rap shit was, I'm like, yo, cuz, there's money in this shit. There's money in this shit. He used to be like, ah, we could do it, but ah. I'm like, no, this I'm like, money. it's money in this, this dice game we about to <laughs> yeah. rob, too. And I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm like, listen. I can see the money. I'm like, no. I can see I'm, it right there. I'm, it's about 12000 out here. I'm reading stuff that these dudes <laughs> is doing. This shit going to take 30 yeah. seconds. I'm reading shit that dudes is doing independently, and I'm like, yo, we got we, we to we get a logo. We get, once it came with the name, I'm like, we got to get a logo. We got to get this. We got to get that. Because I'm seeing this shit is easy. Like even t like today, if we had the things that they had today, how easy it is. Like you can set up your whole label in twenty minutes. Get your LLC, get your tax ID number. I'm just saying, like get all get a logo done on Fiverr or somewhere. I'm talking about everything. Get your merch done. Get a website done. All today, right now, today, off of this phone, connected with a couple apps, couple people. I can set up my whole label today. Set up my publishing. Set up everything. Um, everything right here. I'm talking about to be on paperwork. Once right. I get that paperwork back, the LLC go open up the bank account. Bang, come back. So I'm looking at Master P like this dude is the shit, Gil. Every I'm, I probably was the only dude in Philly listening to Master P. This circa 1995. He told me, and if you don't cut that nice shit off, I believe you. <laughs> I believe said, you 100. Said, Absolutely. Wow, wow, Hold up. Let's not forget too that Ice Cube just. I'm, I'm comparing it to what Gil talked about when he was talking about um talking about Dre. Remember, Cube got fucked over in that deal. Yeah. Was the first one to bounce and leave. They he thought left. he wasn't going to do it on his, do it over there. Right. And he still pops. So it's just like He's I priority. Him. He was okay, my priority. Okay. So let so let so let's get to the top five. We got them. Who's number six? Fifty Cent. Fifty's a legend. <laughs> oh, He's that dude, nigga. No, oh, 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 oh. Eminem come before Fifty Cent. No. But the Vitamin Water Trumpy. Vitamin water, power, BMF, fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. These yeah. niggas doing everything. This nigga got four, five, six, seven, eight movies to fucking. Eminem out. probably made a lot of white people rap, bro. He did. But Eminem was a lot of. Okay. Put, okay. Imp grip, uh, when grip, he was smart put, enough to go get 50. Put, yeah, but at the end of the day. 50 when 50 at, at was the an underground rapper. At the end rapper. of the day, 50 Cent meant more to the culture yeah, than yeah, Eminem. Yeah, he did, he did. So we could put Eminem right behind 50 if y'all want. But right behind them is Drake. Powerful. And right behind Super them powerful. is Cash Money. What about Jay Prince? Jay Prince. What about, ho, ho, ho. We, gonna, we got to name some other, but other people because we got Russell. We got all them out of the way. Diddy Russell. Hold on, hold on. You said Cash Money. Listen. Do you want to say baby? You want to say baby? No, no, yeah. it's cool. No, he ain't going to be special. No, no, I'm just yeah. saying, say right. baby. But, but listen, baby and Cash Slim, the brothers. But this, let me explain something to you. We got to get, those, we, we mentioned them because we mentioned some honorable mentions of the Jay Prince, the Tony Drapers. These people that was making that independent move. Tony like Draper. Tony Draper, the Jay Princess. These dudes was major mm -hmm. in a Suave House record. Like, these dudes was major in a John. See, they, like, Tony Draper is the one who took cash money over the Universal. Mm -hmm. And Tony Draper is also the one that had 8-Ball and MJG. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like Steve Rifkin, Rifkin is a white dude, and he Steve put a Rifkin, lot loud, of loud, We can't forget loud Steve Loud is crazy. We're not going to forget Steve Rifkin. We cannot right. forget him. Loud Records... I'm talking about that power with a lot. Wu Tang, man. Just say Wu. Just say Mob Deep. Like, just mm. them two alone. Wu Tang as a group mm -hmm. and Mob Deep was on loud records. That's just like. What do, you, you, what do you think about the way that the RZA figured out how to make them legend. sign a deal? And then every single that's person what the got that's what we did. A, a solo yeah, that's deal. That's what we did, too. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Smart. That's and smart. And, and, I, and I don't think, I think for real, for real, a lot of times, if, if people just went. Like, it's cool to just be rapping these days. All right, it's cool. But if somebody that's, that's doing anything in the music thing, if they go back and tap into history and get all them resources and all that game, because think about this. If I'm from any city in America, right, and I rap, and I say, I'm going to go to four or five different sections of the city, go get somebody to rap, and we're going to form a group, form like Votron, get a universal name, a universal logo that everybody can mess with, and now we snatching all this. And what we're going to do is we're going to form like Vogue trying to grab all the energy from a whole city now. Mm -hmm. Just as like if you're in Camden. If you got dudes from all over. So now we got the whole. So now you know what that do? I ain't got to be this one rapping that's competing against the 10,000 other people that rap in my city. Because that's all that goes on. Right. Like I tell dudes all the time. Why y'all? Oh, no, I'm cool. Because and then it'd be like this. Us three from the same neighborhood. We might have been kicking. I might have been rapping first. I'm buzzing. All of a sudden, Gil went to rap. 
Now all of a sudden you want to rap. So now I'm splitting traction. I'm splitting fans. Now we splitting people because now your cousins and them they just want to rock with you. No, yeah. he really better than Wild Love. Yeah, that's oh, he say. really, and that's all you see in these days. So now mm -hmm. and ain't nobody even thinking about the business structure of <clears throat> of rap no more. Everybody just want to rap and get on and go get a deal and not knowing that build your own, get your own traction, get your leverage, and then go and own your shit. Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's just crazy. So we we let's wrap that segment up. We got the top ten. We made it about eleven. We ain't, necessarily they ain't got to be in that order, but those are probably the most top ten, eleven motherfuckers that was most. Well, we agree on the top dog. Absolutely, Dr. that's it. Dre. We agree on Dre. Okay, there ain't no about, doubt about let's that. Get in the segment of who would you be? Who would you be? You on parole? Okay, this. You violate your parole. Your so, you, so you your, in the office, you in the PO office. Your PO call you in, yeah. You're sitting there. Come on. Hey, PO. I'm yeah. going to send you to jail. Oh, shit. If you can't get a job in two hours. So you leave. <laughs> two hours. Two hours. <laughs> you got to come back and they got to say they hiring you somewhere in two hours. In two hours. I'm shooting at McDonald's. The only job that's open for you is number one. Security at Woody's. You got to be the Frisker. <laughs> you got to yo, be the. You, you got to be the. Explain to people that don't know what's Woody's. Woody's is a gay bar, so you got to be the. So so you got to be the Frisker, and it is. It, <laughs> yeah, frisker. It, 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 that's yeah, not a job. Frisker. Frisker. Frisk, frisk man. That's you got to be the Frisk man at Woody's. Pat down. Okay. And and the thing is, we all straight, so that's why it would be a big thing. Yeah. You for feel us. what I'm saying? For us. If you if you you're just if doing your job, go right. But so, or you would have to be. Takashi six nine security when he come home from jail with you unarmed. <laughs> no gun. Oh, you, you ain't got, got no strap. It's just you by yourself. It's just you by yourself. You got to walk with him everywhere. You ain't got no strap, dude. You his security. Wallow well, right. cool with that because he's got the uh, glass dragon powers. Catch or, bullets no, in the fuck, teeth. I'm not. No, <laughs> no, or, I'm not. Or you got, or you could get hired to be a high school mascot. Oh, that's easy. Like, oh, so you just easy. just put a costume I'm on? I'm going to be a mascot. Hey, woo, 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 woo. Come yeah. on, crowd. My nigga. Mm, 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 that's the Pump ultimate. First of all, that's the mm, ultimate mm, fucking mm, loser. Mm, oh, mm, hold on. Somebody, you hold about? on. You saying somebody a loser because they earn their money with a costume? I got to put a costume on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Two crazy jobs. Okay, hold on. You're a grown ass man. Okay. Okay. Hold on. You're 40 years old. Okay. On parole. Hold on. Uh, you gonna go be the mascot at Cherry Hill East? You you the Cherry Hill Cherries? You a forty year old man? You throw a big ass cherry on? You come all out? You want to? You're a fucking loser. <laughs> what are you talking? This the ultimate <laughs> loser. The ultimate loser is him or the nigga in jail? The, the, no, the, the, both. <laughs> no, you're not going to jail. No, got, this is what I'm saying. Jobs. What I'm saying, he's saying that's the jobs. ultimate loser. It's like, no, he's trying not to be the ultimate loser. He's trying to yeah, be free. He's trying to be free. He yeah, yeah, want to yeah, put yeah. the cherry on yeah, his head. Put cherry on top. I, I, I don't want to be free. And I'm a, I'm <laughs> you got a, the cherry on top. I'm at, you the cherry on I'm top. at Cherry Hill East High School, and you I'm a cherry. cherry Hill Cherry. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to say, wait, 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 wait. I'm 40 years old. So you're trying to say Rita Woodard old. you saying Rita Woodard Ice dude that be outside and she's looking the sign. Oh, shit. Hold on, what about loser. What about the Sixers dude? The dude from the Sixers. Let me tell you something. He might actually be getting a check. Hold on. But let me they tell you something. Hold, 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 hold. Is he a loser? No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. Because that's his team. Hold on, Sixers. hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. A motherfucker get you to, to throw a Batman outfit on right now and walk around with him if he gave you three hundred thousand a year, you be fucking. Get he ain't getting no three hundred thousand on. No, what I'm saying is, so it's a difference. <laughs> that nigga that's outside, that He's nigga that's cherry outside, Hill, cherry. right? That nigga that's outside dressed up as a fucking lemon water ice at Readers. <laughs> that nigga's making eight fifty. The fuck is you talking about? Eleven dollars. He taking care of his fucking. He family. not in jail. He not in jail. He not in jail. He's he a not loser. <laughs> I don't listen, give a fuck what you say. If he you're said, a high school mascot listen, at you know, 40 listen, years old, I'm going to be the best high school mascot in the country. Let me tell you something. We're going to have the battles. I'm going to all the battles. Look, in look the he said he going to kill it so much the Sixers is going to hire him. Cherry, hey, cherry, hey, hey, cherry on top. Uh, cherry, cherry on top. Cherry. I know. Let's go, Cherries. You, all that dumb shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not going to this joint, and I'm not going down there and Woody's. 
that's some, down Woody's. That's some, that's no, some I'm low not key, doing that. That's some low key and Chester and Molester shit. I'm just, and I'm not you, getting. You 40. No, that is you not. 40 all. You walking into the locker room. Them <laughs> niggas throwing their uniforms on you, stepping into a fucking cherry. You 40 years old. They like, look at old. Oh, he's a fucking nut. Look at this nigga. <laughs> this nigga's a nut ass nigga. Oh, hey, hey right. nigga. Yo, no, everybody is no, honorable. Listen, have a listen, job, listen, man. Listen, they Don't sitting listen on the bench. Nuts, kid. Nigga sitting on the bench. Don't listen Nigga sitting on the bench. He run by with the chair off and on young was like, this nut ass old head like this nut is like well first of all the high school mascot is supposed to be somebody that goes to the fucking <laughs> high school <laughs> not a 40 year old it was fucking a job man. I had to take the job listen man if I gotta take the job I'm taking the job okay so you being a high school yep, mascot you're it. a fucking loser shout, shout out to all the mascots out there shout, out, all the shout out to all the losers <laughs> listen, the I'll fuck be the are mascot. you talking about I'm not, I'd rather be a cherry on top out here than a cherry on top in the cell <laughs> <laughs> cherry on bottom <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey so so, so what you be. How you going no, out nigga, like that? Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm with the Cherry Hill <laughs> Cherries, yeah, nigga. I'm not being 6'9", but you're not shooting me, man. Because you, you, they getting you out the way. Oh, yeah. He, especially if they see me. Oh, yeah, he know that karate shit shooting. Fuck that. Bop. I'm done. I'm done. Like, you yeah. you being 6'9", that's not going to work. I can't be no fucking man. So you going to be at the Woody's? You going to be at Woody's, Woody's patting down Woody's? Is you going to be at Woody's patting down Woody's? First of all, I ain't patting down no Woody's. No, I'm not going to be Woody's. Fuck it, you he got a gun. He got a gun. Oh, no, it's not. It's not a gun. They're like, no, that's him. That's all him. Oh, all right. I thought he had a gun on him. Like, you know what type of shit that is? Like, your name is all. He got a gun. Every, every day you. He got a gun. He got a gun. Yo, all and the then the fact that niggas gonna be like, "Yo, I saw Gil. Like, I saw, I saw Gil, Gil coming out, out of Woody. Woody was wrapped the ground. Wait, hold he on, was wait, taking. Wait, he was taking on. somebody down. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. So you think the kids ain't gonna film me putting that fucking cherry on in the fucking I'm cool in the high school? I'm not. I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I don't with care. That. I don't I don't care. care. They be talking about damn. But no, this but no, nigga listen. went from no, this up. nigga went from rapping to running around with a cherry outfit. You gotta on. put the red tights this on. Though. From, you gotta have a red tights I know. on too. Fuck so, you. so you in the jaw like this? Yo, youngie, help me with this. <laughs> better than I'm frisking a nigga in some red tights, nigga. Better than it's free. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Because securities nowadays, they don't search niggas anyways, bro. Go <laughs> he gonna just let niggas man. walk in with the Mac 11. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, get get because let's be for real. You never hear about no shootings at a gay bar. You never hear about shit going man, down shit, at a gay bar. Peace, that shit what you mean? That yeah, man. Orlando, that was a super they tragic. They went crazy. No. Super See, tragic. Yeah, you would have meant no. That was super you got tragic. That come in, and you that got was hate, very recent. You got hate Listen, crimes out First of all, people be mad at people because of whatever their gender is and whatever they is. But first of all, I don't have anything against... We, we, we don't, but I'm just saying, yeah. so, you, if you security, you got to protect these people. You can pay I'm not protect First of all, let me tell you something. You got to protect Security people. don't protect niggas. The <laughs> no, I'm just fuck saying, are I'm you just talking saying. about? Security is safe. some bootleg you niggas. Safe. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you what security is. Security, Shout out to all is, the security, companies security is some bootleg niggas that's getting a check. <laughs> The if fuck I, is listen, you talk about? If I'm security, I'm letting you know right now. If I'm ever security somewhere, I'm going to the end of the earth about my job. Okay, hold on. Let me tell you what. I'm going to be security Let me tell you what these security niggas Ain't never going to do. What? Jump in front of fucking bullets that's, like the no, CIA. That's a, lie. that's a lie. They ain't doing that. That's a lie. So let me tell you something. If you're under my watch and okay. I'm doing, oh, and I'm okay. handling Wait, security. Hold on. Mm -mm. Let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing that all security niggas know. Because what what's one thing that ninety nine percent of security niggas got? Martial arts. No. No. <laughs> what's one thing? They're all big. So guess what? When that hot shit get to flying, guess what them big niggas understand? I'm the easiest nigga to hit. A lot of so, elite niggas so, not big. They so, just like some ordinary soldiers and come shit. Come on, my nigga. Dude, you, security. Yeah, he's oh, talking, talking about the regular fucking yeah, security. He's talking about club. Yeah, like he talking about them type of Yeah, he's security. talking about, the, he's talking about bouncers. Like this. He's talking about bouncers. So if you make them niggas fight you for more than one fucking minute, <laughs> them yeah. niggas is dead fucking tired. Yeah, he's talking about bouncers. <laughs> So let's be for real. You but the Takashi Six Nine Hold niggas on. might jump in front Hold of a on. bullet because they they like Hold this. On. I need this nigga to live, or they don't get a check the next day because you know he getting around the clock security, right? Yeah. Let me let me tell you something about let me tell you something about because I don't know how many shootouts you niggas been in, but let me tell you about when that hot shit start flying. Niggas N been in shootouts, but go ahead. Niggas get skinny. The fuck is you talk about? The, all that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's that? Where it's coming from? No! Ba -ba -ba. Oh, especially if that shit sound too close. Because when a nigga shoot and it's no, anywhere. No, listen, let me let me just show you. When something. a nigga shoot yeah. and it's anywhere you close to you. I don't know nothing about that. The first thing you is you get the fuck skinny. Let me just show you something, Gil. 
Ain't no nigga. Yeah. Pop, pop. Oh, where it's coming no, from? No, oh, wait, see, hold on. It's prime example. You seen, you seen, you seen security with Lil Wayne sitting in a truck. Lil Wayne's in the hood. He's filming a video. Niggas walk on up on the truck. Bang on the window. Get out, nigga. Fuck it. Why is this nigga security still sitting in a motherfucking in, in the front seat like this? Because, wait, hold on. <laughs> These niggas look like they it for real. <laughs> These niggas look like they for real. He said and, it wasn't Wallace. Hold on. These me. niggas look like they for real, and I ain't finna die over little Wayne for $300. I would have protected a little, protect little <laughs> teacher. Not on my watch. It wouldn't happen on my watch. I'm going to tell you. This is how it go. Listen, this is how it's You're going to go. protect a little coochie till so they pull that something. pistol out and do you to turn to the little coochie. Cash money is an army better than a navy. <laughs> that was a rap. Let me tell you something. This would have happened. That was a rap. I know them niggas. No. Rule number one. Let me just that show you. That was a rap. In case of danger. Let me, let me, okay, let me tell you something? all the gangsters around something? cash money. Before can you I continue, hot boy Elton. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. If I was hot security, Beasel. I would have been, mm -hmm. been a gangster out there. Mm -hmm. but man, uh, that's the only one. And then on top of that, you, you, do you think... Do you, Rest in peace, Killer Stone. Do, do you think... Do you think me... Shout out to Busy. I'm going to let something happen to... Pippin Magnolia. To Cito Tonto. To, to my guy, baby? Mm -mm, not on my watch. Not what the fuck I know. Now, let me show you <laughs> what something. What you know? Let me show you something. Nigga, to pull that pistol let, out let, on you, nigga, you to start bitching at a rapid rate. And this is what I would have said. This, this, this is exactly fuck how to win. What you win. talking about? This is exactly... That's why nobody listen, never hired you for security, listen, nigga. Listen, no, I did have some security gigs. You didn't no, you know didn't. about them. Because I didn't want you to come how, around. How would it have went? This would have went. That's the door. Uh, excuse me, uh, what's going on out here? Nigga, I told Lil oh. Wayne to, hold on. I told Lil Wayne to get the fuck out the car, nigga. <laughs> fuck is you talking? To, slapped you right in your head with the now, gun. Now, 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 immediately. immediately. Hit him right over the door. He wants no, you. No, he don't want me. No, listen, he let looking me show for you. What happened? Let me just show you guys. He let looking me, for please, you. Let me show Wayne you guys what happened. Wayne would have said, happened. damn. Let me show you what Wayne would have said, god damn, wallow. No, this is what would have happened. Hold on, let me tell you what Wayne would have said. He said, what, god damn, wallow? Why listen, you ain't use your karate No, shit? this is what would have happened. Why you, I thought, this what happened, happened to karate Earl? No, this one would have no, this is this what would have happened. I'm gonna tell you what would have happened. It's a karate, yeah. No, this what would have happened. I'd have got out. He would have said what he would have said. He'd have slapped me in the whistle name. This where the game would have changed. What? Because I would the game would have changed you to open the door. He wants no, 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 you. No, 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 me. no, no. See, he got the game fucked up. Okay. I wouldn't have opened the door. The first sign of defense is when he hit me with the pistol on my head. It's What's the first sign? You know your martial artist? Your retreat, nigga. No, 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 no. I'm going to test your, your status, Dev. Yeah, let's see what he know. Yeah, but what is, what is you talking about after you get hit in the head with a gun? Go. After, after you get hit in the head with a gun. The first thing to do is grab your shit, make sure you ain't no. leaking. Let the me first, show you what everybody <laughs> do. Listen, 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 no, 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 no. Because I've been, hit, I've been hit in the head before with firearms <laughs> in danger. The first thing a true martial artist do is... Catch the blood from going into your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Once I did that as a warrior, my warrior instance, I would accord the blood. <laughs> After I'd accord the blood, I had to make sure. I had to immediately make sure that this was blood. And then I get in my stance. What? Let's hold. Okay. hold. Now peep the stance. I'm li we listen. listen. America is listening. Listen. Once, I get, once I get in my stance, I get in my stance. Come right here. And this is immediately. He gonna listen. No, he already he, he's right there. He's right there with the gun. Now, now, as soon as that happens, as a true martial arts, and I'm going into defense. And I'm going into defense. Now, my martial art, vocal tone, that leave. Oh, family, we ain't had to do all that. We, we didn't even have to do it that. Okay, so no, now no. You, you're talking to a nigga no, that no, ain't really no, with the talk. No, 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 didn't I tell you, no, 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 hold, 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 I tell before, you get Wayne before, out there? Before you, before you. Be, <laughs> didn't I tell you get. Before, hold, oh, hold, shot hold, in the knee. Hold. No, 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 no. Shot in the knee. No, 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 no. Didn't I tell you get Wayne out there, Trump, nigga? Listen, before he shoot me before again. Didn't I tell you get Wayne out there, Trump, nigga? Before he shoot me again. I'm pat. Listen, listen, peep game. This is when the retreat. This is when true martial artists, smart ones, come into contact. Once I catch the blood and identify that his blood is real. Before anything happened, ho, ho, brother, ho, ho, we, this ain't had to happen. 
First of all, it already had. No, no. I first, slapped you already, nigga. First of all, didn't I tell you get Wayne off the first truck? First of all, first you of bitch all, ass security, no, no, nigga. No, 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 no. Didn't I tell you get? Shot your toe. Shot your toe. He's not going to shoot me that quick. Blew your fucking but pinky toe off. Me, you know why he's not going to shoot me? Because as soon as I get out and I identify that <laughs> the liquid on my head is blood, and I catch it, I'm immediately. Oh, that's not. We don't have the. Don't worry about Wayne. What you're looking for is right here. He go to back. He goes jewelry. He goes money. We didn't have to go this far. You didn't even have to do that. If that's what you wanted, you just could have told me that. And excuse me, excuse me. Wayne, come on, get up out of here. Talk to these guys. They just want to talk to you. Like, that's true security. Real, I'm the security. Like, security is to secure your life. So you're the teller at the bank of, of Wayne. Yeah. You're the, the teller. Bag, the jury. They go to the book bag. Jury, the money. They got 100, 150 security, grand is here. Security is supposed to secure your life. That's the first rule of security. Anybody out there doing security, secure your life first. That's a fact. Because I'm going to secure mine. Mm. So, you know. But... A lot of people. Get the fuck out. That's a no, fact. I'm not playing about this. Shit. Happened to Tiger in Philly. It's yeah. a fact. <laughs> Happened to a lot of niggas. In Philly. <laughs> it's a fact. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not going out like. Willie Let's Lama. get into million dollars worth of game. This yeah. million dollars worth of game is brought to you. Have you had any good hair lately? Everything DivaGlam.com is also uh, uh, sponsored by Do Rag Danny and all the do rags you can get. <laughs> if you want a do rag, get with do rag Danny, who is Shut the dead fuck brother. Up, man. And he wear do rags. If you got any good hair, he wear do rags. But hats. once again, this million dollars worth of game right here. Segment is brought to you by Everything DivaGlam.com. Yo, Gil, I need some games, son. He's he definitely from New York. He called me son. <laughs> I've been fucking with this shorty for like two years, laying and spraying, smashing and dashing. But for some reason, I can't make this chick come. It <laughs> makes me feel like I'm not putting in work. But she loved the way I puts it down. And she the only chick that I haven't made come yet. And at times it's frustrating. How would you take this? You ain't measuring up, player. You coming up short, actually. <laughs> yeah, you 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 you, you, uh, you don't push the cake to the back of the oven. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not uh sorry. Your life is fucked up. Let me tell you something though. You're but, in trouble. Uh, let me tell you something though. Because it's also about how you deliver the dick. You know what I mean? Like, how you DD out here is everything. How you deliver that dick. Oh, that's a triple D. Yeah. That deliver was that mm -hmm. dick. Yeah, that was new. To a woman. A lot of niggas think, because they jump in the pussy, and they go 100 <laughs> miles an hour. And they going in straight forward pumps. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga like this <laughs> Straight forward Nigga, straight forward. <laughs> nigga don't or, He'll yeah, slap He'll hit no angles He'll hit no angles you gotta He'll hit angles. no walls <laughs> He'll come up Go down He'll take the bitch skiing So you gotta have a little length To take the bitch skiing yeah. Right This skiing <laughs> Right This skiing you, you arch the back From the back Get Right to him. And you <laughs> <laughs> and Then you come off the cliff On that bitch Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to bring all something. <laughs> you hear me? See, a lot of niggas think they be tearing the pussy up. Nigga get in and go 20 minutes straight like this. Yeah. And they done. You got jab from different angles, man. Right. And this <laughs> shit like boxing. <laughs> everything, everything is this about. This shit like boxing. Everything yeah. is about the stroke. Once you, okay. grab the, once you grab that hair, right, you wrap that hair around your whole wrist. <laughs> mm. And you got to give it to him from. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you got the mirror. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta, I'm talking about you gotta, you gotta rip out the frame. An old school. You gotta give him that, that rough ride. Oh, you, oh this is gonna be a rough yo. ride, girl. You gotta zip straight up. Yo. You gotta pipe him down, man. Yo. <laughs> yo. I'm gonna get real. Yo, yo, the way you down. was just swinging, that was a little spicy. No, it wasn't, man. No, was, nah, but that's uh, a, yo, that's, that's how you gotta that's 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 that. that. So you I'll see you be having a spicy look, too? Listen, man, whatever you want to call it, man, you gotta have an angle. You gotta hit the walls. That shit got they, 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 <coughs> you gotta you gotta pipe him down. But my man right there, his life is fucked up. He's, he's done. Right. He's he, he, right. about he did everything possible. He, he coming up like short. Just straight Terminator. <laughs> you know why? Because it's a, it's a combination of two things. One or two. One or two things. Oh my god. Eva, his dick's too small uh -huh. to hit the spot that it need to hit to activate her waterfall, or her pussy's too big. 
But either one ain't that motherfucker ain't matching. No, I know he. I know he, his life is fucked. Hold up. on, or right. the, hold on. And then he say she she never made me come, but but she happy with the sex. Hold on, but has anybody made her bust <laughs> off? Has anybody made her bust off? And she fucked a bunch of niggas and don't bust off. Is it like she got a? Wait, issue? so hold on. So you you've had sex with women before and they don't come. No, never. but what I'm saying is there's women that uh, okay. no no listen to let's make sense. Be a grown up for a second. They talking about sex. Be an adult. If a woman is wait, having sex, wait, wait, no, if a, what the fuck if a, is this nigga if, talking about? No, if a if a if a <laughs> this nigga just what the uh, nigga? How he just dope. turned into a nigga? So <laughs> listen, the fuck is he talking about? Being a devil? No, you're being a devil. You're you're, you're, you're you never had Think about this. Sex if, education. If his girl has sex with a bunch of people in her life mm-hmm. and she never bust off, maybe she has something wrong with her that why she can't bust off. Or is he saying she be busting off with other niggas, but when he hit it, she not busting off? Let me just ask you this question. Have you ever heard of a dick that can't bust? I'm just. Saying. I mean, it got to be. He know. told me about a push to start dick. I'm saying, but his. But, but what I'm saying is, his man dick ran out of gas. He said his, he said his boy dick, bro, got a got a penis pump put in the dick, and you press a button on the balls, and it make his dick turn on. Hey, but listen, but his his man dick ran out of gas. So he got to push the push to start dick. He, he, but listen, his man ran out of dick. Just the whole twist. Man got a push start. <laughs> just the whole twist. Got push he got the, the twenty. Dick. Hey, he got the twenty twenty dick. Listen, <laughs> the whole twist. A lot of these pills. Let me explain some to you. A lot of these pills is for erectile dysfunction. I did research on it, and then I've talked to my my homie about it. That's what happened to him. They taking the pills when they don't need the pills. They want to go longer, but you already get erection, and sometimes it's reversing on people. You know what I'm saying? So not, he, and that's how he ended no, up with because, a pump. Because this is what he told me. He said a lot of people. A lot of people. That was going to the places that he was going, these these penis specialists or whatever, that's what they was doing. They said everything was cool, but they was popping. You know how dudes overdriving, and they reversed it, and it messed their piece up. Also, he got a fun. bionic dick, dog. That's a, it's, it's, it's crazy. Man. So man, so, dick, nigga, dick ran out of gas on the E-Way, man. And he hey, only 25. Oh, Lord. Jumbo. 25. He was popping With them like a push crazy. starting dick. He was popping it, but he also used to get high or some shit. So I don't know. That's what burnt his dick out. That's probably what the it Percocets was. The burnt the dick out. They had nothing to do with the rhinos. He told me that shit. I'm like, damn. They ain't had nothing to do with the Hulkamaniacs. Don't put that on Hulk name. You putting smut on Hulk name. Wait a minute, brother. Wait a minute, brother. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep going. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep going. Fucking putting that smut on Hulk name. He's like, I'm going to keep going. He's fucking right. I'm going to keep going. Toot love when I pop the Hulkamaniacs. See, now y'all see, he was lying on me all the time. He said it was me. I'll be telling y'all he be lying on me. Hey, listen. He let him hawks. Who's the, t- who's the top five baddest actress of all time? Number oh, one is Holly Berry. Number one. Holly Berry. Hey, hold on, the top five? S- Sanaya Lathan. She, uh, it's a I, vanity for me, man. Because I can't. We're not talking about skills. We're not talking about skills. What? We're not talking about skills in an acting. We just no, no, about, I'm talking about looks. We talking about Vanity look, was set. Vanity. Vanity, and, and, Cause I gotta count time periods. Vanity was crazy. And so was I, I hate this bitch now, but Stacy Dash was crazy Stacey when we Dash first saw her legendary. on the screen, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Y'all know who I'm in low key in love with. Khaleesi on oh, Games of Thrones. Bro, she's on my list. But not only as Khaleesi though. I don't never see that. But only as Khaleesi. Yeah, I don't like her when she's regular. What about what about Carrie Washington? But I love Khaleesi. Carrie Washington is bad, but she ain't in my top five. My top fizzle? Nah. I think top I fell in love. I seen so many episodes of Game of Thrones, I fell in love with Khaleesi. So I get who, it. So, so ho, you you got who? <laughs> vanity is in my top you got five. Vanity? What do you think? I, I, I vanity is great. I got I like I like I like I think Holly Berry's number one. Carrie Washington should be in there. I'm not even gonna hold you. I was I was always growing up, I was always feeling Angela Bassett. Wouldn't put her in my top five as a beautiful saying, woman. Like, what? If she was a beautiful see, see, woman. See, when I'm thinking about y'all, y'all, y'all. Angela Bassett had a little, little, little aggressiveness in the face. Come on, yo, yo. Oh, she was beautiful. Yo. I don't think y'all understand. Yo. No, no, yo, yo, come no, on, yo, yo. Can you stop? Girl? Y'all leaning to y'all leaning. Why y'all leaning? It seemed like y'all leaning to lighter skinned women. 
Mm, nobody did that. Nobody did I'm that. Yo, you I only named, I only named bro, Holly I'm Berry saying, and Khaleesi. Bro, you want to see? And one of them is white. First off, Khaleesi's white. First off, lighter skin. Yeah, Khaleesi was what Oh, said. He really tried to win. That's not light skin. That's pale skin, motherfucker. I had Sanaa Lathan on my list because I really love the actual girl she was in Love and Basketball. Like, I wanted her, like the actual character. Cynthia Cynthia Williams was my, and more better blue. She was everything. She was. I'm just saying Angela Bassett a little strong looking in the face, man. Y'all know who Frida Pinto is? No. I know who that I, I, I'm trying to think. Slum who, Dog Millionaire. Slum Dog she, Millionaire. She's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. You got her. You got a lot of. You got. You know. So, Holly, listen, we know universally Holly got to be in the list because it's kind of like universal. Who? What about Jada? J Lo? Jada. Janet was an actor, too. I'm not putting Janet in. Me not either. in the top five. No. Me not in the top five. I say Stacey Dash got to go Latifah? in there. Yeah, I think Queen Latifah is beautiful. She ain't in the top. Stop, man. I'm just this saying. Nigga, you can't a, put Queen in there? Yo, Gil trying to stir shit. Give it to a La, Latifah. Give it to you and I, T. Oh, my cousin, okay, okay. My cousin okay. put what's her the on top, his top. What's the top five women, baddest women rappers? Hold on. We ain't even finishing this one? No. We ain't finishing that. Fuck that. We going right to the top five MC Light. I loved MC Light back in the day. Hold up, baddest women. It's a lot of new ones. I love MC rappers. Light back in now, the day. Now, back in the day, I y'all thought... going back in the day when we no, got one. No, no, but I, I, I'm just. I no. said five, nigga. That's if, MC Light's on my list. I really, really, fuck is you talk really, and Roxanne Shante. Roxanne Shante. Nah, the 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 DJ Both Roxanne John. Shante nah. is back. What's the joint? Sweet tea. What's the joint that worked in? She 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 did Philly radio for a little while too. But back oh. in the day, Moni I loved in it. the middle. Moni, Moni loved love when I was a kid. Moni oh my was god, legendary. bro! She was legendary. Spinderella. Spinderella. My Cardi mom, B. My mom loves you like Cardi, Cardi B. Cardi. You got to say a lot of them. Nikki, Megan. So it, so we making the top. I'm gonna keep top. it all the way real. Right now was the era of the women. Yeah, they going in because I'm gonna keep it all the way real. The women is killing the niggas. Yeah. These women rappers is killing the niggas They're going because in. look how shit totally changed. In order for a woman to be relevant and rap, they just had to be with a crew. They had to be with somebody. They had to be with some niggas. Some niggas had to validate them. Like Jay really came out with Foxy was right there. Ain't no nigga. And right. Like like Nicki Minaj. Kim. Kim. Nicki Minaj had to go get with Cash Money. But now you got women that's blowing by themselves and they blowing on their own. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Tierra Whack. Ain't got no crew. Cardi B. Ain't got no crew. Megan Thee Stallion. One of my favorite rappers ain't out got, here. Megan ain't got no crew, dude. It's Lady London. She fire, dog. Lady London is At a monster. rapping, she's, she's a monster. crazy. Yeah. Rennie Rucci, dope. I yeah, know. I like, I like yeah. Rennie. Yeah, Rennie Rucci. Rucci. You know what I mean? But shout out to all the women that's doing them things. Killing Rocky, the Rocky. Give them amazing. Major, yeah, major shout uh, out to all the women. All the women. Mecca, all everybody. They killing these Just niggas. Just Frenchy. They, uh, Bree Steaks. Bree Steaks, yep. They they killing these niggas, man. They coming hard. It's a bunch of them. That Lady London drunk a rapper. She be, she ass be, Lady off, London nigga. be and destroying. She's pretty. She be yeah. destroying. Graduated, educated. She just, she just be destroying. Okay, I hear you getting your rap bag. Yeah, I was. I used to spit back in the day. Graduated, educated. <laughs> I wrote for Gil. Uh, the fuck out of here. <laughs> wrote your rap. Stop lying. <laughs> so who's the top five? It's hard. I'm putting Nikki in there. I got to. You putting Cardi in there? I'm putting the old Bad Lil' Kim in there. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Yeah, but that was you nothing, old, nothing, nothing was like when Lil' Kim dropped that poster with that pussy. That was, was everything in jail. That was everything. That was That was everything in jail. That was everything. No that rap. was everything. That was everything in jail. Hold on, hold on. What about that one joint that's like Ethiopian or something? Yo, that rap. That, she fired too, yo. Kamaya bad rap. as hell. Kamaya, Kamaya be spitting too from the bay. Oh. The rap. That's crazy. It's a shame I can't think of this chick that rap, man. So um, five, Nikki, Cardi, Megan. Lola Love. You talking about that's the baddest? Like MC looking. Light and Roxanne Shante. That's MC, my five. MC Light? Oh, we can. MC Light? It's hard for me to get five. There's so many. Good. Which, try. I know his. The brat. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> that was like she was like Missy, she liked the he liked Bahamadia real heavy. He was a Bahamadia the brat, Missy Elliott. I'm just and to um, Heather B. Heather B. <laughs> this deep. Heather B. All oh, clocks down. down. Hit him with the funky oh. sound. I can get it down, man. And Whatever Kaya, you one. want. And Kaya, my neck. My, my bad. She's one of the most terrible rappers I've ever heard. <laughs> she was one of the most terrible looking bitches too. <laughs> 
<laughs> she was tangling twisted like a. Say, or, I wasn't gonna say that. I'm not yeah. here to disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. Kaya was tangling twisted one, like any other person. One of his favorite was Craig Sean. One big girl, full of bad bitches. Gucci, 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 Gucci. That was one of his favorites. <laughs> Yo. So I got my five. Yeah. All right, let's cool. get into <laughs> stories from the cell. Stories from the cell. I'm not gonna say her name, but uh, I got hooked up with this girl. You know, when I was in prison. The old head. We already no, know I told this No, we're not talking about how you stop lying. So listen, this uh, segment of Stories from the Cell is called <laughs> Shaking the Dice on the Pizza. So <laughs> what happened was, <laughs> it was a real thing. She come to see me. You know what I mean? I was just like, and we had a little ritual what we do. She had come. Sometimes she'd be at the visit before she'd be down there before I come out the back. Pop, pop. The door pop. Or sometimes I'll be sitting there and the door pop, 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 and they come, you know, you hit the door and then they come downstairs. So I'm sitting there this day. This is one of my best days because the, the pizza fell this day. It was crazy. So we had trays. Your people come there, go to the vending machine, grab you a thing. They come down there with a picture ticket and all type of stuff. So she get the stuff, heat my pizza up and all that stuff. And usually <laughs> once she heat my pizza up and, and come sit back down, I'll put the tray like, like I'm holding the tray like this over, <laughs> over my what's name. And we had these jumpers, right? And I will always get a little, get a little slip my jumper. Like you could slip right here in the jumper. So she could just crack that joint open, right? <laughs> and just go for what you broke. Or sometimes you can have your, sh your, your, your zipper down and my way go. So I had a little, this day, blessed. This hole was legendary. It was enough space. <laughs> she went in that joint, wham. Grabbed him up, grabbed him in the headlock. And so the whole time I'm like this, acting like I'm I got the tray, right? But I got one part of the tray on the on the on the arm piece. The metal, and I'm acting, I mean, I'm trying to rip like I'm ripping the pizza on. Cause she's you know I mean she's shaking them dice up under the table. How long you ripping this pizza, God? <laughs> listen, I'm listen, I ain't it trying to take long. Listen, that nigga was creaming a week. Because our hands were so soft, and right? Said, and get the coffee, right? I'm creaming. <laughs> my hands were so soft and moisturizing, you know, my hands rough. That shit was rough listen, as shit. You just never felt no listen, hands on your dick she, in she, ten she, years. Listen, them bitches felt she, soft. She did and the joint. That's time my leg, my leg jumped. Right? Bitch had drug dealer hands. <laughs> my leg jumped, right? <laughs> My leg jumped, right? Listen, but this was the only thing that saved me. My leg jumped. And the girl, like you usually wait to the to the to the to the person leave. It had a standard person that'd be like there on the bubble. Like it's not a bubble, it's like a, a big higher desk. So they could see anything. He went on break. So it was a girl there that I knew, right? A CO chick. So when the drone fell, she just peeped over, was like, and smiled and just put her head back down. Like, I'm like, oh shit. She let it I, ride. I had to hurry up and grab the tray. I'm like, damn. I'm like, So she I mean? broke you down off a of hand job. Uh, listen to that. He sent it to eat like, the pizza. Listen, that nigga said, just man, a motorcycle uh, break up. Uh, uh, like it was like, yeah, it, it was like nigga said. It was like, man, listen, man. She shook them dice, right? The pizza dropped in there. I wasn't even worried about the pizza. I was so happy because it was like, uh man, you was worried about a piece of mine. I had, to, huh? listen, I, had to, I had the creamy boxes after you that. Just spilled right on her hustler hey, hands, huh? Yeah. She hey, had hustler back, hands. She hey. went back, went to the bathroom. But see, but see, let me tell you something. See, <laughs> that no, was everything. Hey, hey, that's how you know he wasn't no real player. That's that you just told on yourself. That's how you knew you wasn't no real how player. Because a real player, she would have came right about the motherfucking joints. <laughs> listen, man. I couldn't wait to taste you, Daddy. <laughs> hey, listen, it was crazy. She though, like, man. Uh, like, like talking about that. She shit, like, let listen. me go wash my hands on IV back. Shit, that, she ain't need tissue, you, you know what's crazy? She wiped she, it off on this nigga's jumper. Right. <laughs> this nigga's jumper was filthy when he had to walk back. <laughs> a, jizz, a jizz jumper. No, <laughs> JJ had a JJ a jizz jumper. <laughs> nigga. So listen, she wiped, so she listen. wiped glazed donut shit, shit all over. Listen, on. and then and then you know how you was name at the end. You all hugging all. I shoot straight back. <laughs> Listen, man. Looking she, tired as hell. <laughs> straight back, like I really, like I really just got it in. I'm tired now. I'm gonna take a nap and all this dumb shit. I slept it on to get back on the phone later on, right? Get, get on the phone with you, yeah, baby. Yeah. That was a hell of a hand job. Was, you gave, listen, man. I'm talking to you. You was man. magnificent. Listen, you know that was special, right? That was a special thing, man. Huh. We gotta put that in bushy. That's our that's, he that's like, a special baby. day for us. Like, now you know you told on yourself because I know you came home, put the jumper on, cut it, and told April hey, nigga said, your, nigga with said, a pizza. Nigga said your <laughs> hand. Wanted, that's some chill. He, shit. he wanted to relive it. He I want to relive my moment. Said, April, that nigga I'm said, said, jumper. I want to relive said, yesterday. He cut a hole in the onesie with the animal top shit on. That nigga said your hand crazy. had me handicapped. <laughs> you paralyzed me. Your hand is paralyzing. Oh my god. 
That's crazy though. Nigga, look crazy. at a whole and, porno and so, book so of just hands. For the rest of the day with the cream of wheat boxes on. I ain't even care. I went back and laid down, man. I was just tired. <laughs> it was a wild. That was a wild lunch. Ain't even take a shower and still had the cream. I'll take boxes a shower on. later, but it was just like I needed to rest. <laughs> she took my legs from me. Now, whenever this nigga look at hustler hands, <laughs> shit jump. That hey, jump was crazy. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, this is another episode of Million Dollars Worth me, of me, Game. Me, 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 me. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right!